Hello racers, sim racers and gamers to the Project Cars 2. It has been a very long time since I last raced in the career, so I was a bit of a negligence on my side, but it's really hard for me to push to do that uh, open wheel. Not a big fan of open wheel, uh, but I will try to do some today and we will see how that goes. Uh, so what do we have? We have round four of Formula C World Championship. Uh, round four at Mount Panorama Wolfhurst. Uh, <clears throat> what I am really worried about here is it's the 22nd of August. So 22nd of August in Australia, if I'm not wrong, is winter. And if it's winter in Australia, the temperatures will be most probably very low and because they will be very low it is going to be a nightmare and why is it going to be a nightmare because the tire model for the formula c is horrible it's so hard to warm them up even in quite high temperatures so in very low one on this racetrack very technical racetrack i don't see it as anything good We'll do the practice, we'll see how it goes. We'll do the qualifying and we'll do the 10 lap race. I cannot do any longer, that's what it is. Let's start, let's see how it goes. Keyboard away from here. Yes, this is going to be really... Uh, I think that car may require a bit uh, harder load so, so let's set it up to that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I have any setup for this truck. I have, oh, I have something called stable. Uh, there will be some small modification probably, like very low, higher pressure to keep those tires, well to try to 24 degrees Celsius on truck. That's super low. With that tire model for that particular uh, car, it is going to be a nightmare. I don't think I'll be able to keep those tires warm at such a low temperatures. Uh, I'll give it a try. I'll see how it goes. It's a lovely truck, but not when driven on during a winter months in Australia. I forgot to put my dashboard on, so I'm going to do it quickly now. Starting for the course two. We need you to get some heat into the tyres on this outlet. Twenty-four degrees are the tyre temperatures at the moment. The Motec for that car doesn't display that. It's very limited. Warming up uh, brakes will be also super hard. Which I can feel straight away, they, uh, <coughs> the wheels are locking. Tires. Warming up the tires. Oh. The whole race will be about keeping those temperatures which uh, are given at the start of the race. I need to learn that truck as well, so I will use that practice session to learn how to drive that uh, Formula C car. 
on the truck. So I was able to put around 15 degrees on each tire. That's nothing. I know I'm a bit slow as well. So once I will gain some speed on the truck, which will come with the confidence. Uh, it will be easier to warm up. This. That should also help. That helped a little bit, 43, 44 degrees, but now we're close to 70, 80, 90, where it should be, so let's see. The problem is that uh, with the Formula C, if the tires are cold, the rear end of the car loves to skid a lot. Like I'm, I'm sure I should be driving flat out here, yeah. But as I said, I need to get some confidence. Forty degrees on some of the tires, uh, fifty-seven on the warmest one after the corner. Temps are still low, below 50 degrees on 3 out of 4 tires, 54 on one of it. Oh, that's, uh, that's going to be a nightmare. Curious if I can go that uh, if I can negotiate that right hander at the full speed, full throttle. Probably should be able to do it here as well. I know I can do it here. That's quite an interesting section because it's all braking while turning, kind of trail braking all the way through the corners. I'm probably way too slow in that part. A 
bit of a slide there, the brakes are still cold below 200 degrees and uh, I cannot regulate that in Formula C car so it's not much I can do about it. minutes 20 that put me on P1 at the moment I don't know uh, what's my advantage but I'm driving with uh, not enough fuel for the race so I will have a bit heavier car for the race itself, which I may test during this practice session. Okay, so that was full throttle, very dangerous, and uh, yeah, that didn't pay out. There is a damage to suspension to my car and to air, obviously. So let's go back to pit box. And average fuel consumption is 1.91. Uh, 10 laps, so we are 20 liters. So while we add that, let's put some more fuel to the car. And. Uh, I'm curious if, well, how low I can go with that pressure? Uh, I'm sure that's not... That's not correct values for... Uh, I would love to know what's the working uh, working pressure for those tires, it's really hard to tell. Um, like, am I too low, am I too high? I can reset the default, right? It's the default. What's the default? 125 and 118. So we know that wide 118 is still good, probably a bit lower. Okay, 110, 110. So let's load the setup and let's adjust the pressure. Uh, I'm afraid that going way too low may put the tires out of the uh, working, good working temperature range. Uh, with brake balance I don't like, it's too much to front for my liking. Uh, brake pressure is 75, load cell 40. Uh, well, it doesn't look like it loaded my setup. I don't know what's going on. How about it in safe? I did, but okay, again. I usually don't leave. Uh, a tire choice, choice by by weather, uh, so that's why I was surprised. So that brake balance doesn't look right. I don't like it when it's too much to front. The brake pressure is quite low. I want a lot of downforce on the race track. Can I? Oh, I can put 21. I don't know if it's too much. Like that. I'm not changing that, not enough time. 21 liters, that looks okay. We can close the radiator a little bit, it's really cold on this truck. Let's try it again. I'll be able to see how they negotiate all the turns and how fast they are and where I'm losing, where they are losing to me. If 
don't have grip in those tires when they're so cold, 30 degrees. But I don't have much more when they're at 50. Thirty-eight degrees, thirty-seven degrees at the rear. That's why it's sliding like that. It's no grip whatsoever. O, ja nie lubię sobie jeździć. Ja mam tylko ten e, hat z pozycjami po lewej stronie dla widzów, żeby mniej więcej wiedzieli, co się dzieje na torze. A tak, resztę mam wyłączoną. I cześć, niedział.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, G2. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you very much. Sure. Have you sent me an invite through PS uh, PlayStation? Uh, my nick is the same as in this uh, in this channel, Qualixus. So you can find me and send me an invite. Yeah, I'm on PS5. Suspension and aero, and this is it. Good, it's just practice. I was quite unexpected in that uh, in that place. Um, especially, it was at the entry of the corner, not at the exit or in the mid corner. Quite strange. Maybe I should put some more aero on the front of that car. Uh, let's just see what I have. I got only 17, that's a lot. Maybe should maximum. See how it feels. What a horrible drive. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, sure. GT3 sounds okay.
Okay, so I will stop this session where it is. I'm actually going to skip to end to the qualification. And then I will exit so it saves there so I don't have to go to practice again. There we go. I don't need so much fuel for the qualification, I'll just stick to maybe five laps. Save it as qualification. Quite busy on the racetrack. Everyone is leaving the pits. Slippery, slippery, cold tires, cold brakes. Of course, uh, AI is not affected by cold tires, as usually. Not sure about the brakes, but I doubt they've got the same physics as player. I need to put some uh, distance between myself and that driver in front of me. I was catching up with him and uh, I want to have clean air at the flying lap. There's someone behind me so I cannot wait too long. Twenty five degrees, uh, the truck temperature, really cold. With this broken uh, tire model for Formula C. It won't be it will be impossible to warm up those tires. So let's try to do the best uh, with what we were given. by the game developers and let's try to put that car on pole position Sliding as the turn exits. A bit slower here, but I don't take the risk. Not with that uh, blue tires.
I think I'm too far away to benefit from the slipstream from the car in front. So, but I probably should still have enough clean air to not to have my air affected. That was a big slide, but the rear tires are 45 left one and 49 right one. They don't have any temperature there, to be honest. It's just like I'm six at the moment with a time of two minutes 21.399. Seventh. Risky. Oh, that was that was a lot of sliding there. For a moment I thought I would crush there. Forty-nine and fifty degrees, rear tires, front fifty-five and fifty-nine. So cold. I have to be careful here. I lost a lot of time here last time, sliding. That was a bit better exit, but is it going to be enough to improve my time? It was enough for the second place. I still have some fuel to try to improve that. First one is just behind me, not not just. Uh, there's one driver between us. I really don't have enough grip in that car. So dangerous in this truck. There are no safe zones here, it's just uh, straight into the wall in case of any mistake. I could wrap them a lot. Maybe I will benefit from the slipstream now, we'll see. A little bit uh, faster than the last time. Six gear. 
and then the heavy braking to the second. That was quite interesting, that's probably because of the time. I don't know, we'll see here on the braking. Racing uh, during the qualification, that's that's great, but it was worth it. It's a full position at that moment, I, uh, I'll let them go. 2 minutes, 20 seconds, point one, six, seven, one, six, seven. Um, I think I gained mostly due to the slipstream on that straight. Um, I think that was the first time I upshifted to 6th gear. Starting from pole position on this track is uh, crucial and super beneficial. Overtaking on this track is not easy and it's super risky and with this open wheel cars it will be a nightmare. So if I can keep that pole position it's going to be great. My engine starts with good 102 degrees or 92 degrees water. My tire and the brakes uh, Nick, look uh, horrible. We're setting up for that now. Oh, I put the six gear as well. But I think a bit later than when I was at the slipstream. Seriously, the pit exit is a nightmare. Who came up with that idea of uh, chicane after chicane after chicane? Okay, let's go to the pit box. It was barely 191 thousandths of a second uh, over the second one. The third one was uh, a significantly slower. A half, more than half a second is a lot, uh, I guess. Uh, one minute forty seconds left. So I won't be waiting. Let's just skip to end. Let's see if they improved. No. So we. Um, oh, and actually, a second place is my teammate. So it's one two for Team Gencon Mobile. Lovely. Continue to race. Let's see how it goes. Let's put the soft tire setup. Uh, that should have enough 21 liters. So that should be enough for the race. 10 laps, right? 10 laps, yes. Okay, let's start. First gear. Not a bad start, not a bad start. Actually, really good first corner as well. I'm already 1.6 seconds, 1.7 seconds. Have to be careful in this truck. I have a benefit of warm tires, first time on this track. This is due to warming blankets, which are used uh, in this series.
but they will be cooling down. There is no chance I'll be able to keep those uh, temperatures for a very long time. So I have to push now while I have benefit of this uh, warming blankets, 70 degrees. The rear tires temperature just dropped below 70 degrees, which means they out of the a perfect range, let's call it that way. They are still warmer than what I was able to warm them up during the practice session and qualification. But because they're dropping so quickly, the car will start uh, sliding sooner than later. 57 and 60 at the rear, 60 to 64 at the front. Four seconds advantage over second, which is my teammate. Uh, he has another two seconds over the third one, so he's doing really well. It would be great for our team if we could uh, arrive with uh, one two result at the end of the race. Two minutes, 19 seconds, that's quicker than during the qualification. But I did 219 practice. I know that uh, you could, one could drive much, much faster in that car, uh, given a better conditions than the one I'm driving in. And of course, there are much better uh, players there. There are also people who just love open wheel and practice open wheel only, but uh, I'm not a big fan. Enough to say that I purchased the new uh, Formula One 2021 from Codemasters and I spent maybe 20 minutes in, it in the last month or so, so that's how much I love open wheel. Uh, the only reason I'm doing them here in Project Cars is because uh, I want the accolades for winning the series. Jeez, 
Whoa! Car started sliding horribly now because of the slow temperatures. It's uh, looking well enough at the moment, uh, around 5 seconds advantage over second, uh, 7 laps to go. Um, the car looks, let's call it healthy. The engine degradation is 2% at the moment, which is quite strange because the temperatures are uh, really good. When it comes to the engine temperatures, uh, water and oil. So I, I guess this is just a natural degradation of that engine in single-seater car. Uh, tires temperature mission many times and brakes the same, they're horrible. Nothing to talk about, they just cold. They are super cold. Fifth gear and there's hardly any use for the sixth gear on this track if I'm not in the slipstream. Looks like my teammate has around 3 seconds of vintage over the third one, so it's looking better and better with every single lap, 6 laps to go. This is how that car is sliding now. Even though it's high aero car, right? Uh, it doesn't help much even in this uh, very fast corners, because the tires do not have enough grip due to being so cold.
end of lap 5, I'm halfway through, 5 laps to go. I have a comfortable advantage over a second, but it's not a safe one, a single mistake, and it's all gone. That's what I was talking about. If I didn't catch it early enough, that would be a wall kiss and probably, well, definitely aero damage, probably suspension damage, and uh, could have been end of the race. It's hard to believe for me that uh, it would be so hard to warm up those tires in real life. Even in even on such a cold track, that would be just dangerous to drive. 53 front left, 61 front right, 48 rear left and 51 rear right. Those are the temperatures for the tires. Zero grip, pretty much. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want to hit him. Side mirrors are totally useless. I can't see anything in them. It would be cool if I could regulate them somehow. Some PC sims have that ability to regulate the mirrors. Project Cars 2, as far as I know, doesn't have that. Is it getting darker on this truck? Oh, he was uh, he was driving their hard left. Almost looked like it twitched his old car. Um, yeah, I won't be driving as fast as he's driving here because I don't have a grip. It's sliding like hell. Seventeen degrees on the track at the moment. Uh, Eleven degrees ambient. That's Australian winter for you. Uh, here we go. I can put a six gear. A same corner and the same situation. 45 degrees on the left rear tire. How stupid is that? I'll be glad if I can finish that in the second place now. Uh, I won't be probably able to race him. I'm 20, 2 minutes 22. My 
times dropped significantly from when the tires were still nice and warm or warmish. Three laps to go. It would be still a very good finish, one, two for our team. Uh, just I would be second rather than first. He's much faster here due to the lack of uh, grip on my side. And I'm sliding here like crazy. And I have Aero maxed out in that car. a bit risky but I want to have a good exit just to catch up that uh, slipstream from him oh he was braking earlier than I expected So I had to correct my uh, driving blinder. Two laps to go. It is going to be enough slipstream to actually have any chance of attacking at the end of that straight. I'm not sure, I don't think so. I may show myself in his mirror. I, I won't be taking the risk. I will be unnecessary and stupid. I'm losing a lot here and I'm scared of that corner I'm driving it way too slow now far away now for any good slipstream Big slider, the rear tires are colder uh, than the front one. Okay, Final lap. Last Come on, you can do it. Final no, I lap. cannot. Not with the tires.
That would be too risky. It's not enough space there. If anyone can do this, it's you. Come on, keep pushing. This is the closest I was here to him on that straight. I could try to delete the braking, but I'm still too far away to actually achieve anything here. Yeah, I won't be taking the risk, that would be stupid. I had a better exit here, and I know that he's braking really early to the next corner. This is exactly what I was talking about. And gaining the P1 on the last corner of the race. With 2.4 liters uh, fuel left for one extra lap, a 92% engine. So 8% uh, degradation. The stats on my dashboard are now frozen. 55 degrees left front tire, 59 uh, right front, 44 degrees uh, rear left and 47 rear right. They are super cold. There was no grip in that car at all. Uh, this is mainly due to this uh, truck temperatures, 11 degrees uh, ambient and 17 degrees uh, truck temperature, uh, brakes 249, 250 front and 200 rear. And that was after quite a hard braking to the last corner. And uh, so obviously they cooled down to the finish line, uh, but it wasn't a very long line so straight so yeah that's everything was way too cold during the race january or february would be much better time for a race in australia rather than august during the winter Let's finish that cooldown lap and I'll be done with the career for today, or at least for now. So here we go, 1-2 for Team Gencon Mobile, great finish, uh, Horsbsner Automotive Nail Hopwood was third with more than 5 seconds gap to first and second. Uh, cool, let's see what's the, what is the next race, how did we look as a team? 44 points as a team. Uh, and I also had the fastest lap, so that's, uh, I believe, extra point. 
26 and 18 points. 90 points overall. Uh, three podiums, three wins uh, out of four races. So one of the races, uh, I don't remember which one it was, uh, they didn't, didn't go according to plan. Uh, I think it was Monaco. My teammate is seventh with 22 points, so that was a huge uh, inf influx of points for him. I haven't checked how we are standing as a team, but it's too late now. The next race is uh, Sportsland Suga, Japan. Uh, that's going to be quite interesting. Uh, but that is for the next time. So thank you um, all for watching. Uh, have a great uh, Saturday. And I will, will speak to you later once I will be streaming again. See you.